Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gold Prospecting at Home. This is episode number 126, and today we have a pay dirt from a company called Chris and Gold Mine in Dahlonega, Georgia. I visited there last year, and it's a really awesome store. Uh, you go in there, they have um, all kind of gold prospecting equipment, they have natural gold nuggets for sale, they have gold pay dirt, they even have a panning station in the back. They have a real active gold mine in the back of the property there. They mine all their gold right there. It's really interesting there. And unfortunately, February of 2022, this year, they were actually robbed at gunpoint. Somebody came into the store and robbed like $100,000 worth of natural gold nuggets and jewelry and all kinds of stuff. And so someone, one of my fans, um, Rookie Gold Prospector, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel down below. He actually sent me a bag of pay dirt directly from Chris and Goldmine. So Chris and Goldmine knows that this bag was sent to me. Whether or not they know who I am, it doesn't matter. This video isn't about ROI or you know, vendor honesty tests or anything. This is just um, to help promote Chris and Goldmine and maybe they can recover some of their money or maybe somebody out there has seen some of this jewelry or gold or something. I mean, the thieves probably are gonna melt it down, you know, losing so much of that premium value from those nuggets and stuff, but there's a chance maybe somebody knows something. Uh, information and links down below, phone numbers and stuff to the Sheriff's Department down in the description. The product that we have today is the 15 to 1 Gold Concentrates. I'll show you what it looks like online here. So uh, $50 for the 15 to 1 Gold Concentrates. It's 15 gallons of ore concentrated to one gallon. Gold concentrates come from an open pit hard rock mine in the North Georgia mountains. We dig quartz rock out of our pit mine, then run it through our stamp mill to crush it in the sand. That material is then ran through our trommels, and that is how we make our concentrates. You will get one of the one gallon bags for the cost of $60 each. So it says $60 here, but it says $50 up here. I'm guessing maybe because it's $16 shipping, maybe they just had a, a, a typo or something. But either way, uh, thank you, Rookie Gold Prospector, for sending this to me and letting me know that Chris and Goldmine was robbed. I really dislike thieves, just like most of you guys. So um, let's go ahead and take this over to the pan station. We'll chop it open, we'll take a look at it. And uh, no biases here. Whether it's good or not, doesn't matter. Go over to Chris and Goldmine, um, purchase something from them, help them out. Let's take it over to the panning station. We'll chop it open and take a look at it. Okay, here it is, the 15 to 1 gallon gold ore concentrates from Chris and Goldmine. Let's take a look at it in a pan. Great. Okay, so first of all, this stuff does come double bagged. I took the secondary bag off of it so you could I get a better shot of the actual bag. And each bag is rubber banded. Okay, looking down inside the bag, I have done this stuff before and it is crushed quartz just like they say on the website. All right, so this material is a little bit damp. Damp pay dirt can be an issue because say you have a rock like this and there's little pieces of sand and dirt and stuff stuck to it. There could also be gold stuck to it. So in order to separate this, we can't dry classify. What we need to do is wet classify. However, we're not going to be doing that today. I am going to be running this through the sluice box, the VDR um, vortex mat. So basically all we need to do is bring it over to the sluice, run it through, and then pan out the concentrates of that. So we don't have, you know, what is this, a gallon of material? Set this up at eight degrees. almost forgot to add some surfactant to this water. That's gonna break the surface tension to prevent any small gold from floating away. I'm gonna go ahead and raise this up another degree just because it's not uh, removing material quite fast enough. There we go. You can see a nice piece of gold right there. I'm 
It's a nice piece of gold right there. Look at this piece of gold. There's a picker right there. I'm going to grab that right now. Just going to throw that in a gold pan. We've got some nice gold. Now, everything in this sluice box is all the heavier material, such as black sands, garnets, anything that is too heavy to be washed down and into the bucket. So the best part is we only have one little pan to work with. So let's go ahead and get it in the pan and we'll pan it out and see what we got. All right, so for me, this is the number one best thing about having a recirculating sluice system at home. Um, I mean, it's basically doing the same thing that you would do with the river, except at the river, you put it directly into the river. You feed all of your dirt from the whole day right through that sluice box and you come home with your concentrates. So this is the concentrates of 15 gallons of gold ore um, that was concentrated to one gallon, which we concentrated to six ounces, four ounces, something like that. All right. Um, now, as far as I can tell, there's no big rocks or anything in there. I don't think classifying is necessary. We'll go ahead and just pan it as is. So let's bring over Krusty Rusty. I'll add some water and some jet dry. All right, now we'll begin the panning process. If you guys are brand new to gold panning, if you've never panned for gold before and you'd like to see a detailed video, a tutorial video on how to pan for gold, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and link it um, right there. That way I don't have to explain exactly what I'm doing throughout the process, although I tend to do so anyway. All right, so we're just gonna pan it back. You know what, we're gonna continue panning off these big chunks of quartz. The less material we have in the pan, the easier it's gonna be. We're just washing these rocks off, washing the dirt off. And right there, I can see some gold. Right there, I can see gold. So we don't wanna continue panning off into crusty rusty. We wanna keep everything in the pan. And now we can just start washing it back slowly. There's a good amount of black sands in there. I did not remove any of the black sands. So we're getting uh, the full difficulty for this pay dirt right here. Okay, I see a piece of gold right about there. He's wanting to come down, so we're gonna take everything down here that we know is not gold. We're gonna wash that down into Krusty Rusty. And we can continue the panning process. We can keep doing that. This is helping get rid of a lot of that black sand. Yeah, right there we have a nice amount of gold being revealed at the top. It's actually really nice. Not too bad. Chris and Goldmine, guys, go over there. Please support them. And I mean, honestly, that's not terrible for $50. We will weigh it up and get a value on it. First, we've got to clean it up. We got 0 0.808 grams um, and a lot of that gold, I forgot to mention, you can see that it's real flat. It looks like it's been stamped in that stamp mill that they have. And it's actually on display there at Chris and Gold Mine in Dahlonega, Georgia. If you guys ever get, if you're ever in the area, it's like 70 miles north of Atlanta. 
Definitely take a drive up there. Um, take the little tour. You could pan for gold. You could buy pay dirt right there and pan it in the back there. It's pretty awesome. So we had 0 0.808 grams. And we can call it 24% pure because you can resell natural placer gold just like this to pay dirt vendors like myself. If you have natural placer gold and you want to sell it, go to kleshgold.com, click on the sell your gold button. I'll send you a quote and I'll buy your gold. All right, so this gold is worth $44.68. That's not bad at all. Um, definitely not bad. Dude, the vast majority of pay dirt vendors out there are like ripoffs, right? And I don't think these guys even have a guaranteed minimum amount of gold. I didn't even look, but um, if you guys are looking for pay dirts to buy, the first thing you want to look for is guaranteed minimum amounts of gold. And I did not see that in the description. However, we ended up with almost all of our money back, not including shipping, of course. So um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, there's a $10,000 reward to catch the people that stole from Chris and Goldmine. I'll leave any links that I find in the description. If you know of any links, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll approve them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. I put out at least one new video every week on this channel. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left. So thanks so much. And also big thanks to all my major credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to like the other ones linked here. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.